Right, yo, so your boy Didi is busy, man. He ain't catching no break in 2024, yo. He keeps on getting those allegations left and right, lawsuits coming like a rain, dog. So I got two things I want to talk about today. The first one I'm going to talk about, um, Cassie's lawyer has spoken up. The second one, there's another lawsuit against Didi, but this one is slow juicy. Sheesh, lordy. But uh, let me start with, um, on the lawyer thing so Cassie's lawyer has spoken up before i go ahead read what he said because whatever he said gave us an idea about what's going to happen to diddy in the near future like yeah this is pretty pretty revealing a little bit no not a lot of details but it's kind of revealing though so if you are you know keep up with the news a few days ago there was a video of diddy you know surfacing on the internet him rafting in Wyoming, just having fun, flying private. You know, Diddy has a private jet. He posted on his IG. So it seems like Diddy's living his best life. He's just, you know, he's just having fun. I still believe that Diddy's still having them freak offs, man. I ain't gonna let you, man. That boy ain't stop. I won't stop. I can't stop. I never gonna stop. He ain't stopping with them freak offs. He's still having them freak offs. He's still having them, but eh, maybe it's, it's more. He's a little more smart about it, man. People that he picks for the freak-offs, all that, but that's not the point of the conversation. So the thing is, the fact that Diddy's still out there living his best life, and that's pissing a lot of people off. A lot of people's getting pissed off because of that. It's like, yo, these dudes that's supposed to be incarcerated, how come he's still out here living his best life, smiling? It's like, you know, Diddy's moving like he, has, he ain't got no worries. Like, he's careless, though. That's what People are pissed off, especially the victims. I mean, it's not even victims, though. Anybody. Myself, I'm not pissed off. But I'm a little confused. I'm like, sheesh. Is this dude even got to get incarcerated? Considering that, you know, quote, unquote, like, you know, allegedly that he works for the Fed. Now I'm asking myself, oh, maybe he's going to take a plea deal. Or maybe they're just going to lay him free. Maybe he's going to lose some bags. He already lost a little bit of money. But then he's still rich. But richer than my broke ass. Anyways, so I'm saying like, yeah. So a lot of people is getting pissed off. They're like, yo, Diddy's like moving like nothing's happening to him. What's wrong with this dude? So Cassie's lawyer got pissed off. And he made a post about, you know, Diddy's situation. Like, all right, this is what he said, man. Let me just cut it to the chase, right? He said this, man. Cassie's lawyer, I actually talked to on TMZ, all right? Cassie's lawyer, Douglas Wigdor, right? Said in July 9th, statement to TMZ on her behalf, I believe, Cassie's behalf, I don't think white water rafting will prepare him for the choppy waters that lie ahead. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so this tells me that, yo, they probably got some receipts that we never seen before or we never even thought about. They're probably going to bring some freaking receipt that's going to be crazy. And people just going to be like, wow. You got to remember, Diddy is still free. Diddy is not convicted yet. So he's still free to do whatever he wants to do. He's still innocent. They're not even looking. Here's the thing. The Fed did raid Diddy's house for sex trafficking. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for videos of those underage girls, you know, having their drinks laced, taking pills, all that. That's what they're looking for. So it's been taking... You know, it's taking a little longer now than expected. it. But you got to trust, you know, the system sometimes. Sometimes, you know, I heard that if they raid your house, that means they have evidence. They just don't do it for fun because it's a process for them to do it. So at this point, like I say, even myself, I'm confused. We're just going to wait and see. But the question is, is Diddy even going to be, you know, is he even going to be arrested? Like, bro, I'm still asking that question every single day, dog. But at the end of the day, man, I just want people where wrongly uh treated it you know to get justice so that's what i'm waiting for that's all that's what i need because me and diddy we ain't on each other there's no connection between me and diddy i'm sympathizing with the victims so let me read the second thing that he said right singer is now i mean cassie cassie's more motivated to ensure justice reveals Ooh, yo, listen, if I were Diddy, I would lay low. The reason that people come with those new lasso, the, you know, Instagram IG posts, people are talking about it because Diddy is putting himself out there. I get it. I get it. He's trying to piss people off. You know, Diddy, Diddy is still the guy out there, you know, somehow, man. And he doesn't, he doesn't make people feel like, yo, I'm not a guy anymore. You know, he's, he's still have that, that pride like, yo, I'm going to show these people I'm still a guy. I'm still going to be moving like, you know, I ain't got nothing to worry about. And I'm going to 
piss these haters off again every single day but i don't think that's a smart move though if i were dating man i'll be quiet i'm not i'm not saying you're not supposed to live his life because you never know maybe the maybe he knows what's happening next he's like yo let me just enjoy my few last days before i get inside with them niggas you know getting me my, my cheek claps too it's like, yo, let me just enjoy. You know, I know I know inside is hurt. I know inside is burning. All this just a poker face, man. I know Diddy probably that is not sleeping that well at night. He's making phone calls left and right, but he's just doing to piss people off. Hey, it's working, Diddy. Good job. That shit's working. It's not working for your benefit because you're making people talk more about you, bring you to the news again. You know, it was a little quiet when Drake and Kendrick Lamar were beefing. Now you back on the news again, bro. Slow down, just lay low. I will lay low, man. I'll wait until the storm passes. Like I'll just like be quiet. I'll do my freak offs in private. I'll do my fun in private. No camera allows. Not not none of that. None of that. But Diddy, hey man, yeah, it, it, it is what it is, man. That's what he likes to do, man. Who am I to tell him not to do it? Biggest of